Those are our lime spreaders. Woo! We finally are getting lime. Hey guys, welcome back. Tick Creek Ranch here. It is August 2nd, and uh, we had a little bit of a surprise this morning. Got a call from Custom Spreaders. They're guys that uh, are gonna be putting lime on our land here today. Greg Phillips, thank you for getting to us. We sure appreciate it. But they ended up coming a day sooner than we were expecting them. So we're not really ready. So we're dropping lines and getting poly rolled up and moving stuff. And oh, we're kind of running around like chickens with our head cut off. But you know what? We're getting live. Goes bombing. This is old nasty power line access. Pretty much just weeds, rocky. There's a little bit of grass in there. know what they're doing they're just going over the grass areas one pass but you know they're seeing all this briar there's tons of briar and that that lespediza uh nasty nasty just terrible so he's going over he's been hitting that pretty hard he's probably putting it on double the 2,000 pound an acre rate in the briary areas areas so you know that's a true indicator that you just have really acidic soil so Making dust. Oh, I'm gonna get hammered. <laughs> These guys are fast and efficient. It doesn't take them much time. We've been going hard just to stay ahead of them. So we're super pumped. I mean, this is what we were like really, really waiting for to get this this going. Getting the, the pH corrected here is really the most important thing. Uh, to get jump started. Lime, I think, is definitely the key. Uh, all of our soil testing we did here, we, we took over 200 samples, made our composites, sent them to the laboratory, got our, got our numbers back, and the number one most blaringly obvious big problem that we have is pH. So what we're looking for is we're hoping to get into the low to mid sixes on the pH scale. I think that that's going to be great uh, optimum grass growing, you know, if, if we ever got to a, a neutral, even better. But grass seems to thrive down in the, you know, six, two, three, four. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, let me know if you guys have ideas, uh, advice. Anybody out there that knows a heck of a lot more than this stuff than me, please share. You know, comment down below. I'm always looking for new ideas. That's kind of the name of the game with me. So, um yeah, just follow us on this journey. We're just going to keep keep filming, keep putting it up, and see how the farm, over time, you know, if this system is going to work for us. It definitely works. I've seen the guys that it works for. Greg Judy's farm is gorgeous. He's got so much biomass on his fields. It's just amazing. So I know it works. It's just a matter of if we can do it, So, which I think we can. But at any rate, thanks for watching. Um, again, share, like, subscribe, you know, do all the things, hit the notification bell. I know everybody always tells you that on YouTube, but I feel like if we don't say it, sometimes it just gets forgotten. And that again, just keeps giving us the motivation to keep putting out videos, taking all the time. It's a lot of effort. It really is. My oldest daughter, Deanne, she's 21, bless her heart. She does all of her video editing and, um, it's, it's a ton of work and she's starting to hate me. <laughs> so, you know, 
she's really the 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 operator behind the scenes i'm just the guy that flaps his neck so anyway thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one Bye.